Hi there, my name is Casper Fox. I'm a YouTuber. I usually do RNA content with my good friend Morty is where we check out musicals and then I'm known for my various a cappella covers that I post every now and then. I've been so inspired by all the musicals I've been checking out recently that I'm gonna try to write my own themed album slash musical, which is called Stories from Sticks, a musical about Hades and the underworld. I mean, the title isn't all that. The title is just Stories from Sticks, but yeah, you get the idea. Here's the initial plan. The musical will be 12 songs long, split into two parts. Each part will have six songs where part one covers all the fundamentals like like Hades being born in the Tidenomachy, establishing the underworld, the whole Persephone thing and his marriage to her, all that will be in part one. Part two will cover some of the more popular myths related to the underworld stuff like Sisyphus and his eternal punishment, Orpheus and Eurydice, and even Heracles' twelfth labor where he has to go and grab Serpers from the underworld. I've been doing a ton of research on Hades and the underworld and the myths related to it. I've been taking inspiration from the Homeric hymn to Demeter, even modern media like Blood of Zeus. I like how Hades is portrayed there. Even various cultural history things that I could find in the local library here in the Czech Republic or online, and a ton of cool people who have been telling me about how Hades is portrayed in various media and from that I've kind of gathered one thing. Now I'm a firm believer that there is no correct way of portraying the Greek gods, I just think there's a general understanding of what a lot of people think about them. For example, Athena being super smart is something that's a reoccurring element. Some people will call her unjust because of the myth of Medusa for example. If you look at Epic the Musical, she's cunning and smart but also heartless, you know, stuff like that. So I'm also going to be taking some minor creative liberties with Hades. Now that being said, I am staying mostly true to all the research I've been doing and all the myths and hymns I could find, so don't worry, I will not go on a fully stray path. I just hope you guys will enjoy my interpretation of Hades. Now before we finish off, I want to point out the elephant in the room, obviously. Is this connected to Epic the Musical? Nope, not at all. <laughs> Jorge and the team behind Epic are massive inspirations of mine, but I cannot stress enough that these are two very separate things. I did however reach out to Jorge and the team behind Epic just to make sure, give them a heads up that I'm not infringing any copyright and they gave me the all clear and wish that I was wildly successful in my endeavors, which is very nice. I also inquired to see if any of the Epic animatic creators or the livestream format was copyrighted by Winion LLC, but it's not, which means that Stories from Sticks, both for part 1 and part 2, will have animatics by some familiar faces in the Greek mythology community but we'll also have the live streams, which means that when part one drops in early 2025, you will be able to watch it along with me. I can't speak more highly of the entire Epic team. They've been so lovely throughout this entire process and I felt like I should address it in this video. Everything is in the clear. It has nothing to do with each other. I do understand how my presence in the Epic community and my Hades fan songs might cause some confusion with that, but Stories from Sticks and Epic the Musical are totally separate. Thank you so much for watching this informational video. I really hope that this answered any questions you may have. If not, I'll be happy to answer them down in the comments below. For now, I am so excited to introduce you to the rest of the cast. I'm so excited to show you more snippets and of course to release this. I've been working on it for a few months now and I'm so excited to get it going. For now, I wish you a wonderful day night wherever you are and I hope you take care.